Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to solve a palindrome question in lead code. So this is a pretty famous, uh, you know, problem where you have to identify whether a particular number given to you is a palindrome or not. So essentially, whenever you are trying to interview for, uh, you know, any position where you are assessed based on your, you know, coding skills, then in that case, these kind of problems it will actually, you know, help you a lot. So let's move on to the portal and see how we can solve this particular question. I will leave the link in the description box for this particular question so that you can also practice the same. But also do remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel. So here we are with this question. So when we say a palindrome, a number is called a palindrome when you can read from when you can read a number from both left as well as right. And, you know, it is the same. So, for example, if you see over here in this question, they have already given an example, which is one to one. Now, one to one, whether you read it from left to right or you read it from right to left, it is essentially the same. It is one to one. So this number is a palindrome. But when you talk about minus one to one, whether you read it from the left or you read it from the right, it is different. Right. So that is why, uh, you know, this minus one to one is not the same. Now, uh, okay, let me explain it a bit more. So when you try to read it from left to right, you have minus on the left hand side. But when you read it from right to left, you, you still have minus on the left side. So that is why it is not a palindrome. Now, in this particular question, they are saying that you are given an integer x, right? So you have to return true if x is a palindrome. Otherwise, uh, you know, you just return uh, return false. Now, in this question, you can choose whatever programming language you are more aware of. So it has all the set of programming languages. You can choose whatever you want. So let us choose Python for now. So this is a syntax which is already available, right? A basic syntax of a class and a function. Now, this function will take x as an input. Now, this x is nothing but the number which will be given to this particular function as an input, right? Now, if we try to solve this by, you know, uh, Python, it is like really very simple, right? You can use a lot of inbuilt function and this can be done in multiple ways. So, you know, one thing you can think of right now is that that X, the integer which is given to you, right? Now, if you reverse that, uh, now if you reverse it, if you reverse the value of X, then in that case, what will happen is after reversing, if the value is still same, you can say, okay, this is a palindrome, else it is not, right? The pretty easiest way. Now, let me do one thing. Let me say, uh, in fact, let me say like this. Now, first, let me convert the input into a string now this input whatever input is given to me an integer right first thing that i'm doing is i'm using string function str function in python to convert it into string now after converting it into a string the method through which you we can actually reverse the string is negative indexing right similar to how you do it in the list so the negative indexing is essentially colon colon minus one and then you can actually reverse whatever input you have given Right. So now I have reversed the input that I have given. Now to validate it against my input, I'm saying equal to equal to str of x. Essentially, I'm checking whether the um, input input string is equal to the reverse of my uh, input string. Right. Now, if this is true, let me say return this. Right. Now, the moment I say return this, what is going to happen is if in case this is true, it will return true, else it is going to return false. So now just let me run this code. Now, if you see, uh, there are test cases. Now, the, these test cases are uh, pretty passed. Now, if I try to submit this particular code, uh, code you will actually see that, uh, you know, it kind of runs and other test cases are also passed. Now, this is one way in which you can do this question. Now, there can be other different ways as well in which, uh, you know, you can do this question. Now, there might be an interviewer who might say, okay, I, I don't want you to use this reverse. I don't want you to use any inbuilt str function, right? In that case, how you can do is, now let me comment this part. Or let me just remove it itself. Now, the, what we have done till now is just a one-liner statement, preferably the one which you might use in your day-to-day -day work. 
but in case if you have to do it from the scratch without using any inbuilt function the one thing that you can do is the moment you get x right you can say that str of x now first thing that you are doing is you are converting it into a string after that you can iterate through it now let's say for i in range 0 comma length of x length of x essentially the length of the whole string by 2 so you are actually iterating through the string through half of the string right you are actually iterating through through a half of the string that is where i have written this for loop for now for this half of the string now i am putting an if condition if x i right what does x i mean here x i means the element each and every element of the string now let's say the element is 1 to 1 so x of i like if i is 0 will be 1 right so each and every element is equal to let's say x length of x minus 1 minus i so now this particular statement pretty much answers you know all let me just complete it now if this and then i'll explain you if otherwise just return false Okay, so if you look at this, okay, so if you look at this, what, what we have done here is we are iterating through this particular input, right? So this input can be, let's say we take the input as 1 to 1, right? So for i in range 0 to length of x, now this length of x is actually 3, right? Now 3 by 2, so it is going to iterate through each and every element. So if x of 0 is equal to equal to length length is actually 3 right now 3 minus 1 equal to 2 minus 0 right because i will be 0 here now if both of these values are actually equal then in that case it is actually going to pass it now the moment it pass passes it you are going to get true as an output otherwise it will be false right now this is essentially how you can uh, you know do it in the other way as well in case you do not want to use the reverse option so this is also pretty much uh, you know a very effective way to do it so let me just uh, run this code and check if there are any syntactical errors or if there is any issue okay so now we can actually go ahead and submit it so this is a typical palindrome question you can do it in multiple ways even i have shown you two ways there might be 100 ways of doing it you can uh, you know uh, i leave the link in the description you can do it on your own and thank you so much for being till here do remember to like share and subscribe